Pendukene Vlaetana was only about 15 when the first battle of the South African border war broke out in 1966 and she was not far from there. She was generally unhappy with what she perceived as inferior education throughout her time at Mbalantu and Shugambo. The veteran politician tells us that her eyes were eventually opened and followed political events closely through the Voice of Namibia, broadcasting from Tanzania and Zambia. Good evening, listeners. This is the Voice of Namibia. With prospects of Angola becoming independent in 1974, Ivalaitana became yearning more for freedom, which at the time rendered continuing with education irrelevant. There was only one way out for her and her two friends at school, an escape route out of Namibia, making up a story at school that a close relative died at home. The principal sympathized and poured out sympathy and, uh, of course, uh, allowed me to go home. And uh, my, <coughs> my colleague, being the only lady in the class with me, had to escort me home. And the other one, uh, the wife of late Hidipo uh, Hamutenya, uh, Mrs. Nangula Hamtenyak now was our close friend in uh, from two that time. Uh, she she also had to sympathize and you know join me to go and uh, attend to the incident. They walked 19 kilometers on foot from Ashigambo to Onipa, where they were transported to the Angolan borders by John Nakawa, who was later eliminated by the enemy. They pulled off yet another stretch of over 200 kilometers on foot to Namakunde, where they were joined by other groups and transported to Lubango. What followed is an exhausting hundreds of kilometers walk until they were transported by trucks to Shatotwa in Zambia. After she completed her military training in Tanzania, Rivala became an instructor, but a stereotype kicked in as men doubted gender. They thought maybe, you know, nature has its own ways of, you know, and <laughs> there was a conspiracy even. Many, just like he, had no close relatives in exile. Their spirit of camaraderie was unbreakable as they uphold this commitment they made 41 years ago. Give the independence to all mass the masses of the Namibian people. I joined SWAPA because I realized it's the only movement that can lead Namibia to its total independence. I joined SWAPO in order to liberate my motherland, Namibia. Songs of liberation struggle soothed their pain, and you hear them sing even at wedding ceremonies. My wedding dress, up to now, can it tell you with whom it ended? It was not a fairy tale when they left the country and thousands paid the supreme sacrifice, which Valaitana said seemed not to be appreciated much by some. It was not a fairy tale when they left the country and thousands paid the supreme sacrifice, which Valaitana said seems not to be appreciated by some. Swapo's late stalwart Simon Zeka Kungwa is one person who reminds Ivulaitana of the bravery and sacrifice many have made towards the total political liberation of Namibia by this one song. <laughs> Swap with your fika,